Hello, everyone. You ever walk into a place and you feel like you're in an argument? You're trying to figure out what just happened? You just go in and, oh, my, what happened? I know we've, I've used that idea several times before. But the idea is, as we walk into places, often the spirit of the enemy is there waiting for us, lying in wait for us. Peter says, prowling about like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. What's the idea here? Actually, that's James. What's going on here? Well, John helps us here, and he gives us a wonderful, wonderful encouragement in this passage. What's happening is this. John has been talking to us about all the false beliefs around us. In his days, the heresies were the Gnostics, and then the folk who came after them, sometimes the Docesis. Those who say, yeah, we have secret knowledge from God, you live this way, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Today, we, we could even go to as far as the Epicureans or the Universalists who say, oh, you can do whatever you want, live any way, God loves you, it's okay. Everybody goes to heaven. That lie has been around, around for a long time. But so you walk in somewhere and you feel as though you're getting beat up and you don't. You want to know why. You're trying to put your finger on it to understand. Well, remember, John, in these first few verses here in chapter 4, has been talking to us about spirits of the Antichrist that are not of Christ. So what does he tell us here in verse 4? Because it's wonderful what he says. And then he gives us this great, great, great encouragement. He says this, You are from God, little children, and have overcome them. Well, let's just take that part. First of all, he identifies who we are, whose we are. We are from God. Again, he uses that lovely phrase, little children, loved ones, small child. Understand this. Live in this reality. That you are from God. And you overcome them. Well, what do you mean I'm from God? The Spirit of God lives within you? Yes. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes. Therefore, you are from God. Your identity is in Christ Jesus. Remember Paul. Everyone who believes in Christ Jesus, behold, they are a new creature. You are a new creation. You may not look like it, feel like it, but spiritually, you are. Therefore, you overcome the world. You, what, who, who are them? Say, how to say that correctly? Who's them? The spirits of the Antichrist. The spirits that speak against Christ. I know. There are times when you feel guilty. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure how to phrase this. The Spirit of God does. Go ahead and speak. Get over your fear and let the Father speak through you because you have already overcome them. You have already overcome them because in you is the power to tear down strongholds, any system of belief that does not honor or belong to the Father. Paul teaches that in 2 Corinthians 10. You have the power and the authority. Why? Because the truth is in you. Truth always wins over the lie, over the half-truth. Truth always wins. Truth is a matter of reality. Reality wins. It looks like sometimes the enemy wins, yes, but no. Ultimately, truth is going to win. You are overcomers because of who you are. I like what John says there. He says this in the Greek. He says it so well. Ektao theo. You are of God. You are from God. He says that, some version of that, six times in this letter. I always address with little children, my loved ones. Understand this. You are from and of God. Remember, as he taught us, we are abiding in him. He abides in us. He keeps speaking that into us. Why? So that you and I walk in the assurance of knowing that we have already won. 
We have already overcome the spirit of the enemy because we know and walk in the truth. But then John's not done yet, because remember, I promised you an encouragement. And here it is. John says this. You are from God, little children, and have overcome them, spirits of the Antichrist, because, like that word? Because, for this reason, greater is he in you than he that is in the world. God says that to you. Greater am I in you than the enemy. Thessalonians, wonderful verse. He handles him with the breath of his mouth. God is greater than the enemy. God in you, the hope of glory, the person of Jesus is greater than the enemy. And any false witness, any lie he wants to throw against you, why? Because you have overcome. How do I live with my overcoming? By abiding in Christ. By understanding that greater is the Father in me than he that is in the world. Where do you think the power comes from? To tear down strongholds. Where do you think the wisdom comes to speak against the enemy when the truth that you need just flows forth from your lips? It is the Spirit of God in you, greater, larger, more powerful, more victorious, is he that lives within you than he that's in the world. Satan so wants to rule this world. Jesus even calls him the God of this world. Why? Because it's about allurement. It's about half-truths. It's about trying to get you on my side to deny Christ. You already have the power and the authority and the ability to overcome that. Lord, give me your wisdom. Lord, help me to see, know, and walk in your truth. Because, Lord, you have identified who I am and what I am. I am of you. Understand that. Let that sink in for a moment. Ectal theo. You are of God. You are from God. God speaks and lives and dwells within you. Never take that from granted. Because the enemy is out trying to dissuade people, trying to get them to believe whatever lie sounds good today. Jude, Timothy, help, to help us here. So there will be a time when men and women will only want to know what tickles their ears, to hear the things they want to hear. Guess what, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? We live in that time when people only want to hear what they want to hear. Then it is our task, being from God, of God, to speak and let his word flow through us. Why? Because greater is he in us than the enemy in any of the enemy systems. Again, go to Ephesians Chapter 6, verses 10 to 12. For the enemy systems, any system, culture, series of thought that sets itself up against the authority and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even when it sounds good, it can still be the enemy. Because John says, I want you to be forewarned and know that the enemy is out there. But what do I do? What do you and I do? We realize who we are, how the Father has designed us and defined us. And then we rely on the fact that greater is he in us than the enemy in the world. Because we have overcome because of the power, the authority, and the truth of Jesus Christ in us. Mercy. I pray today that you live there and that the Father live how in and out and through you. Jesus, indeed, thank you. Yes, Lord, for defining who we are, giving us a sure identity, yes. But then, too, reminding us that we're overcomers. But then, Lord, oh, for the wonderful encouragement of knowing that greater are you in us than the enemy that's in the world. These things, Lord, we pray in your holy 
your mighty and your blessed name, Jesus. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.